now I want to edit this to make it look better. So I'm going to go talking, uh, start talking about generators and how we can procedurally damage this. Because I could paint rust on here, but we baked all those maps earlier, right here, which give us the ability to edit. Hold on, let me get in here. The color, the height, the roughness, met metallic, and the normal maps. So we might as well take advantage of that. So one thing I want to do is I want to edit and make this look like rust on the edges or worn on the edges because if you've been using it, it should be worn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new fill layer. I'm going to call this my rust layer, rust layer, okay? Now that I have rust, I'm going to go down and choose the color of rust, okay? Choosing that rust color. Let's go a little redder. Let's actually come up to a little bit orange. There we go. Okay, I'm going to want a little bit of height information. I want it to come up a little bit. Roughness, I want it to be pretty rough so it stands out. So it's not going to be shiny. Rust isn't shiny. And then metallic, I can slide metallic up or I can slide it down. I'm actually going to turn it off for this. So now we have this rust lane. You can see it's kind of just taking over everything and we don't want that. So what I can do here is I only want it to be affected by this map. So one option I have is to copy this map, this mask, I'm sorry, and then paste a black mask here. And then I could continually doing that for everything that affects the grenade base. Instead, I'm going to create a folder and I'm gonna call it grenade, well, I can't see grenade base. From here, I can take both of these Drop it in my grenade base folder. I can add a black mask. I can copy this mask. And then I can paste it in. Where's my paste? I can paste it in to there. Now I can actually delete this mask. It's not needed. So I usually like to work in folders with a mask for the part that I'm looking for. Now we can see that my rust layer, this can be a color color and our rust layer is overriding this that's we do not want the rust to override the grenade base color we want it to be green but we just want the rust to poke through so what I'm gonna do is right click add a black mask so now the green is showing through but I want the rust to show so what I can do here is with the mask selected I can right click I can go down to a generator the generator is empty, so if you go down to your properties, you can see no generator selected. If you select this, you can see it gives you many options. And one of the options that we have is dripping rust, which is, says exactly what we want. So why don't we go ahead and click on that, and it will automatically put rust on there. This also gives us the ability to procedurally remove rust, add rust, change the contrast of the rust, or we do want it to spread. Do we want the intensity to drip a little more? How are we doing? So there, we can see how it's editing. And we can see the image inputs that it's using curvature maps. You can see that I already turned off ambient occlusion, which it would use normally for this map, but I turned it off because it didn't look good. I'm not really liking how this looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that and it's going to go back to normal. That map, now that that generator is gone. So instead of just adding rust that way, I want to actually, I've decided I want to edit this so that the rust looks slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a generator again. And instead, I'm going to choose metal edges. There we go. Now we can see that the rust is generating on the edges, which is under the curvature space and we can see how this will look. So if we come down here, I can turn this down or up. I can turn this down or up to see how we're looking. I can also edit this to use triplanar, which I'm going to, which you can also see at the top of any of your layers. You can do UV projection, which will project based on your UV layout. Or you can change it to triplanar, which uses math to evenly get rid of seams, which is lovely. 
So now that I have a little bit of rust on the edges and I wanna edit that a little bit more, so I click in my layer. I'm gonna click on Metal Edge Wear, Grunge Scale, Grunge Amount. I wanna turn down the curvature weight, there we go. I want the grunge amount to come, so I want it to be a little bit on the corner and a little bit up. There we go, good. So there's our rust layer. So now, beyond this, what I wanna add is another edit. I wanna add some dirt to this too. So I think it's nice that we have rust that's coming out, but I wanna add dirt to this base as well. So I'm gonna hit the fill layer because I want it to be non-destructive. I'm gonna choose like a dark brown. I'm going to get rid of height, metal, and normal. And dirt, I want it to break up the specularity on here or the roughness of this map. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a black mask. From here, right click again, add a generator. Click on the generator, add dirt. Now we've added dirt with very little, very little effort from me. I don't have to paint this on and now it's dirty and rusty. So what I can do here is I can adjust the dirt level. I can adjust the contrast. There we go. We can adjust the grunge amount. I can also go up in here and be like, hmm, I don't really like the color. And just like before, I can edit all the color gone. I can edit the roughness too, if I want the roughness gone. So now it's not having the specular breakup that it should be having, and now it is. So thus far with just two simple generators, we were able to affect the outside of this object.